What is up guys and gals? Welcome to a brand new video on my channel. I am Psycho Sandman and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up shadow play in the new NVIDIA GeForce Experience interface. Now I did this video about a month ago or so and since then a lot of things a lot of things have changed for uh, the GeForce Experience. The whole interface is completely different and it's when you look at it it's very simple but it's quite confusing because you're just not used to it we've been looking at that geforce experience interface for probably years three or four years maybe even longer than that and it's all of a sudden changed now and granted it's for the better but it's something new so uh, we're going to jump right into this so if you if you find this video helpful please remember drop me a like and uh, check out my channel for more uh, gameplay videos and tutorials so before before we do start there's a couple things to note one i am using obs studio to record the reason being is because uh, obs has a few features that i need to use uh, like a noise gate suppression and gain uh, i do record in a noisy environment so i need those features at the moment uh, shadow play does not offer that right now because it is in beta and that's another thing to note um, the audio side as far as your voice the settings is it's very limited but in my personal opinion, NVIDIA GeForce, GeForce excuse me, records clearer picture than OBS. Um, I, I think it does. I did a side by side comparison uh, on my own time personally, and I, I just thought that the GeForce experience looked better. But my audio, as far as my sound and my voice, was way worse than uh, OBS did a lot, a better job. So I'm taking my audio, and it's really not that. It's really not that noticeable as far as my video, but um, I'll, I'll drop it into Premiere Pro and, and fix all that. So let's get right into it, guys. I'm, I'm, I know I'm rambling on here, but we'll open up GeForce Experience. And as you can see, it's a lot different now. It looks a lot cleaner. It looks a lot smoother. You still have your home uh, screen here where you got all your, your games. And you can see I have a lot of my stuff optimized already. For some reason, Shadow Mordor will not optimize. And I've played that game a ton. So... It is what it is like doom vulcan it's not optimized i don't ever play that i always play doom but you can just hit optimize boom it'll just automatically optimize it that that aspect of it hasn't changed um you still have your drivers right here on the side and basically it tells you uh, information about your driver you can click these three dots right here and you can try to reinstall it if you're having driver issues um you can pull it up like that if you want to and you get a bunch of news about games coming up and um shadow play information and things like that so they've done a lot a lot of good things here to keep you in the loop of what's going on but first things first before you do your settings you want to make sure you have a profile and you're signed into it if you don't cr create one it's real simple to do and you're going to need that in order to get your settings now this right the settings right here you don't have to worry about that that's not where we're going to we need to go to the share your greatest gaming moments this is where the magic happens so when you open it up you'll get this right here it looks simple but it's it can be quite complex if you're not uh, used to it. So a new feature they added was the gallery. Now you can take, you, you can make a screenshot, hit Alt F1 on my, on my hotkey. Uh, that's what I have it saved as, and I might that might be default. I might not have changed that. And uh, now you can get screenshots direct, directly in GeForce. So you don't have to like I got a few games I play that not through Steam, and I know Steam's got a screenshot capture mode where you can hit a screenshot but i play I have like three or four games where i don't play on steam so i couldn't get screenshots for it now all my games are piped through nvidia the geforce experience and i can hit an i can hit a screenshot anytime i want so it's it's freaking amazing so in order to edit now see i have my i'll have my instant replay on if you have that on it won't let you customize it it'll tell you stop recording and i'm not even recording at the moment it's just that instant replay is on so i can hit that hot key and um take the last 20 minutes or however long you want to you want to uh, do it for and i'll show you how to change that right here so make sure this is turned off first so you can edit you can customize it so replay length this is big, basically your instant replay so i have a hot key to where if i hit this um it'll record the last 20 minutes of gameplay now you can adjust this slider you can do half a minute you can do one minute all the way up to 20 and you look and it'll tell you how much uh memory that's going to take up i like to do 20 because sometimes i'll forget i have a really really cool kill or really cool gameplay or something like that that lasts for like three or four minutes and then um i just lose track because i'm so into the game i'll forget to take the screenshot but it gives me a little time it gives me a little leeway it gives me 20 minutes or so and i can hit the screenshot and go back and, and edit it later so 
I do my quality as custom because I'll do my in-game resolution, which I'm running 1440p right now. So I like to keep it the same. There's no scale. So if you're running 1080p, that's perfect. Just leave it at 1080p. Um, if you're running 4K, leave it at 4K. You want to do in-game resolution. That's good. 60 FPS. I recommend 60 FPS. Most everybody on PC right now is 60 FPS or higher. So just leave it there. Bit rate, 50,000. That's where you want your bit rate at. I've tried higher. I've tried lower. 50,000 is still the sweet spot right now. And it was like that in my last video. So always just leave it at 50,000. You won't be you won't be disappointed. So once you get those settings set up, um, and you could do high if you want to, or medium or whatever, but I use it as, I just, I just, I just do custom. And then just set in-game 60 FPS 50,000, and that'll do that. Um, basically record is the same thing. It's, if you set it up here, it's gonna, it's gonna carry over to the next one. Stream, um, you can, this is for guests. Like when you, you gotta set it up here first. So broadcast, customize. So right here, you can pick Twitch or uh, YouTube. I just stream to Twitch. I do custom. I find my settings. Now, this may, this may vary for everybody else. My sweet spot is 720p at 60 FPS. A lot of people run 1080p at 30 FPS, but this once again, this is my personal opinion. I think that 720p at 60 frames per second looks better than 10, 1080p at 30 frames per second. That's just my personal opinion. The bit rate was set at 5. That was default, and I left it there, and I've streamed a few times on, on Twitch since then, and I didn't have any buffering or nothing, so that basically is the sweet spot right there. So broadcast basically this is your streaming service right here twitch or youtube that's your two options right now now obs gives you a lot more options but i believe majority of people streaming are going to be on, on twitch or youtube i go custom because i like customizing my settings i hit custom i run 720p at 60 fps now this may vary i find that 720p 60 fps works for me i don't get any buffering some people do run 1080p at 30 fps that's fine too but in my personal opinion, now this is just me, I think 720p at 60 FPS looks better than 1080p at 30 FPS. And I do get some buffering at 1080p at 30, a little bit, but not much. But I don't get any on 720 at 60 FPS. And that's what I want. You don't want any buffering when you're streaming. And the bit rate was 5. That's the default. I haven't changed it. I, I, I just I left it at default just to try to run some to, to do some test runs on Twitch and I didn't have any problems so I left it right there and I'm going to show you how to set up all your um your Twitch whatever your Twitch uh, stream to get that in there so right here you have a couple push uh, a couple audio options so you have uh, push to talk right now I'm using my Audio Technic AT 2005. You could do push to talk always on, and you can turn your mic off. And that's why I'm saying audio audio is limited with um, Shadow Play at the moment. So right here you have your settings tab, so you can have all your everything. So you can have your Google. Um, I have my Google account logged in. I have uh, YouTube right now. I could do Twitch. I can log into my Twitch, and it'll pop it up. Now I'm connected. Now my Twitch is connected and pretty much good to go. I don't have a um, Imgur. I, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Imgur, whatever. Um, I don't have any any settings for that or any any um, login settings for that. Excuse me. So I'm not. I don't. I don't log into that. Overlays. This is where you put your overlays in. So your camera. I do have a webcam, so you can put that in any um, in any corner you want. Status indicator. So this is basically showing you. Um, if you're recording or not, I usually keep this in the bottom left because I don't have anything down there. So I'll put that down there. And basically, if you have a green circle in the middle, it's basically telling that you're recording right now. FPS counter, I throw that FPS counter up in the corner, but I use fraps because for some reason OBS doesn't pick up my FPS counter through NVIDIA, but fraps does. So I use fraps. So I just turn this off. And you also now have a viewers tab. So if you're streaming, um, whatever you're streaming on, you don't have to keep like I usually keep my um, my web page open for Twitch so I can see chat and all that and see how many streamers I have. But now this will actually give you an overlay and show you how many streamers you have. So that's a cool and neat little uh, feature they put in there. So here's your keyboard shortcuts. Um, you can open and close and you can change these by clicking on it and just if it highlights green, just put the key that you want in there. 
so open close i don't ever use that bush of talk i always I always have my mic on um, fps counters alt 11 so this is where you change your capture this is probably one of the more the most feature that you're going to use in this um your capture this is your screenshot capture so alt f1 is mine and it'll capture your uh screenshot to your gallery so record alt f10 I don't know why it says save the last five minutes, but it's actually 20. That's what I got it set to. I probably need to go back and check that. And then Alt F9 is my toggle manual uh, recording. And then broadcast um, is all it is. I don't broadcast with uh, Shadowplay yet. I probably will eventually when it comes to full fl full fledged software. But right now I'm using OBS. Uh, recordings. This is where you set up where you want your recordings to go. If you do a recording, I have mine in F my F drive and exported videos uh, just easier to find them you just hit that and you can basically put it where you want it uh, it's pretty self-explanatory stream um, allow friends to join a game and play as a guest yeah that's you know you could do yes or no I use do I usually do yes um, because I, I, I've had very few friends on Twitch so um, it is it is what it is so broadcast games from desktop to you can always ask but I'll do twitch just do Twitch, and then uh, you can you can change your um, what server you want to your ingest server. Do the one that's closest to you. See, I'm in Louisiana, so Dallas is the closest one to me. Um, that's pretty much it. You can do YouTube or Twitch. I like I like streaming to Twitch, uh, but it's personal preference. Uh, your gallery. So upload images from desktop. That's the name on my desktop. I never changed it, and I do mine to photo Google Photos because I don't have an Imgur. Uh, so I have it straight, but you could do always ask me or you can do it to Ingmar. You can do it to Google photos. It's up to you. Privacy control, turn on desktop capture for instant replay, record, broadcast and screenshot. So yes, you want to keep that on. And, um, that's pretty much all your settings. Now we're going to go over the gallery thing right here. So what I'll do now is I'll hit a screenshot and it's going to pop up a little tab saying that you took a screenshot right here. So alt F1. And boom, it says screenshot has been saved to gallery. So now if we go to gallery, it was empty. Now we have a screenshot capture. So if we hit that and we can upload it and that's what it's going to look like. So I have my Star Wars in the back and there's OBS running on my uh, on screen too right now. So it's going to, you can rename it if you want to. We'll do, uh, we'll just rename it desktop. We'll just do desktop right there. We'll kill that and then upload. And then Google Photos uploaded to google photos has completed blah 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 whatever so now um we can go back and i'll open up google photos for you guys i'll show you there's my google photos and this is my all my screenshots that i've taken from from my um youtube channel and there it is boom it is right there and it is ready to go now if you want to you can download it and there it is it's automatically downloaded and it went to my downloads file and we'll open that up right now I'll kill this uh, thing right here and we'll go to downloads and there it is and we'll open it up and beautiful there's a screenshot so you can take screenshots on the fly to make your YouTube thumbnails that's that's mainly what I do it for like 100% of the time um, and also too, what I've noticed it is it just doesn't go to your Google Photos um, I have if you noticed where I put my recordings at, F export of videos, you really don't even have to open up your Google Photos. If you go here, and I'll open up my F drive and go to, um, where was it? Export of videos. There's some screenshots I took for Fallout. There's a screenshot I took. That was my last, um, that was my last video. That's the uh, thumbnail I used. Look here, it saved it under desktop. And boom, there it is. So you really don't have to upload to Google Photos. It's just if you want to keep a copy of it, just in case you you delete it off your um, your hard drive for for, a re, for any reason, whatever. If you're trying to clear space or accidentally deleted it, so you'll have a backup on Google Photos. And I mean, you could keep a lot of photos on, on Google Photos, and it won't take up any space. And then when you're done with it, you can just delete it, and I'll just delete that one. And um, that is pretty much it in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's really not that complicated it's just it's a little overwhelming when you look at it because you're like what this is all changed this is all new um but it's really not that bad and uh you just got to take your time and it's going to take some it's going to take a while to tweak your settings to get it to get it set right i mean it did for me and after a few weeks of um playing with it i think i finally i think i finally hashed everything out but 
So if you guys are kind of stumped on settings, just set everything up in your NVIDIA Shadow Play like I have mine. And you may have to adjust it from there because your internet connection is not going to be the same as mine. Your PC hardware is not going to be the same as mine. And that plays a big factor into um, your recording. Now, your I mean, I have really fast internet. I have like 120 megabytes a second that I get. So my, my lag is not going to be very much at all. And I'm running a NVIDIA Titan X Pascal. So I have like a one of the best hard uh excuse me one of the best gpus if not the best gpu now you may not have that so set up your base settings like i have and then do your test runs off camera off stream make sure everything is smooth and looking good make you a couple test videos edit them render them and watch them make sure everything's everything's running smoothly you don't have any pixelation um, adjust your bit rate if you have to and just make your settings according to what your PC specs and your internet connection is but if this video was helpful for you guys please remember drop it a like it's greatly appreciated thank you for stopping by and watching my video I am Psycho Sandman and I will see you guys in the next one